You know, I've been following River Phoenix ever since I saw Stand By Me when I was in my early teens. Um, immediately floored by the movie and River Phoenix, I, of course, looked up every movie he was in and tried to find it. Um, amongst those was Running on Empty, initially on a 720 stream, got the DVD, and finally got Running on Empty on Blu-ray from Warner Archive. And immediately, I have to say, one of the easiest reviews I'm going to be doing because it's the best Blu-ray I've seen um, that isn't a 4K Blu-ray itself. The video quality in this is absolutely outstanding. A perfect example of what Blu-ray can do, especially for underrated gems like this one. I mean, really one of my favorite movies of all time. Today I'm going to talk about the movie itself, the video quality, the audio quality, the extras, packaging, and my overall recommendation for Running on Empty. This is one of my favorite films that I just purchased in Rewake of 4K Blu-ray. I'm so happy when the movie quality is matched with the video quality in terms of excellence, especially with classics like this shot on film. We get a marvelous performance from the late River Phoenix with his only Oscar nomination and a superb original story by Naomi Forner, also nominated that year. The film is full of thoughtful nuances from veteran family drama director Sidney Lumet. Phoenix is known for his sensitivity, and I feel like he could trust a vocally empathetic Lumet. The team, including Martha Plimpton, who dated Phoenix and who worked together on the Mosquito Coast prior to this, brings us a coming-of-age music, crime, drama, romance that excels into a poignant, palpable character study of a family on the run. Constantly taking on new identities, the family is coming to terms with their graduating high school senior, Danny Pope, played by River Phoenix. He is a gifted pianist who learned to play from his mother, who's now forced to take on odd jobs from town to town. The movie has a beautiful heart at its center, rooted with its characters, the Pope's on the run from a lab accident in the 60s that ended in an accidental fatality. Danny is a sprouting, restless, and angry teen from his years of running, something inherent to River's own upbringing, busking on the streets with his sister, and then landing acting roles in LA that would help feed him and his family. The movie is about Danny letting go of his family so that he can be the best person he can be to himself, something clearly reflected in his own story. He took on a lot at a young age, and that is felt here without filter. The weight of being trapped by a family incapable of providing a structure to grow in, watching the popes come to terms with this is beautiful and heartbreaking, as Danny's newest target is studying at Juilliard. This is a nearly perfect film. It holds up remarkably well for something made in 1988. My only real critique is there are a few small acting moments that feel a little undercooked, but that's such a nitpick criticism. The film is dated in all the right ways, but also totally relevant and engaging, taking on the feel of a stage play. Here's a film dedicated to its characters' voices, opinions, and feelings. River meets Martha Plimpton, his new music teacher's daughter, and their rapport is charming. There is a arc seen and felt on screen that is just so real. The movie is kind of a forgotten gem. When I was recently getting back into physical media and I saw Warner Archive had put out a Blu-ray for Running on Empty, I was extremely excited. My high expectations were absolutely met and then some. Let's talk more about the gorgeous video quality on this 1080 Blu-ray. I was completely floored by the video transfer, especially because you can't stream this, rent this, or buy this in 1080 digitally, at least not at the time when I was looking now, what you can on Amazon. You need the Blu-ray though for that quality uptick. This was clearly taken from a 4K transfer, and you really ought to have it if you're a fan of the film, if you're a fan of Blu-ray, if you're a fan of River Phoenix, you gotta have this one. I was impressed by the level of detail that's being seen for a sleeper hit from 88. Warner impresses yet again, and I'm so thrilled that I now own this, and it is undoubtedly the definitive version of this movie, no question. It will probably never see a 4K, and that's okay. This Blu-ray is competitive with the 4K, shot on film, obviously, an 8K native medium, clearly a 4K transfer done for the Blu-ray. 
and that Blu-ray is just flying on all cylinders. It is just impressive. Yes, there is grain, but grain is going to be inevitable for something shot on film. Um, there's good grain, and then there's bad grain. Talking in means of digital distortion, digital compression. Good grain is different. It brings out the detail of the picture, though I know that look can divide some. Most noticeable are the fine hairs that have this 80s unkempt fashion, individual hairs on top of the head, and what I think is a fine grain structure inherent to the actual film itself. As far as the audio goes, I don't really have an elaborate setup yet, so I can't talk too much about that. We get fantastically written dialogue, all of which is acted, directed, mixed well, and everything is clear. If there is ADR happening, usually I can't tell or care. Words match mouths perfectly, even from 100 yards away. We get a pretty nice soundtrack, including Fire and Rain and some beautiful piano pieces. Yes, that is River playing himself in all those scenes. As far as extras go, we don't get much, only the original theatrical trailer, but I can accept that. This Blu-ray is stunning. Packaging is good, a true-to-release date cover poster, something that Warner Archive values with their other releases, and I appreciate that. Warner Archive was actively releasing new Blu-ray movies, but I hear that they just closed down. There was rumors that Warner Bros. was stopping the physical media output for years to come, but Films at Home shared a contract stating that they'll be releasing titles for at least another 10 years in combination with Universal. So it seems like Archive kind of got absorbed or is done now. I know they were doing a 4 for 44 deal in the beginning of this year. That's probably why that was happening. I should have gotten on it. I wanted to. I almost did. Anyways, I don't think physical media is going anywhere. In fact, I think it's going to be becoming quickly more popular like vinyl enthusiasts. I see an ever-growing niche community here in the works. It's really amazing, especially having some of your favorite films on Blu-ray looking so good. It's been a lot of fun to comment on some of these videos and actually having a bit of back and forth with people. It's a small thing, but that goes a long way, especially in a world leaning so towards digital. 4K and Blu-ray seem to have this kind of amazing secret that isn't actually a secret. I think the prices just detour people, maybe, and uh, the convenience factor, but I love the physical quality of a Blu-ray, the slip covers, the steel books especially exclusive extra content you wouldn't be able to see if you went digital, plus the absolutely flawless picture. It's important that these films get the lifespan that they deserve. It's important that River gets remembered the right way in such beautiful clarity. Running on Empty is a surefire gem that holds up astonishingly well. See the masterful late River Phoenix in his only Oscar-nominated role the title is definitely worth a slightly higher than average Blu-ray price for sure, especially because it's a little hard to find this HD stream unless you have Amazon. I highly recommend checking it out. River Phoenix doesn't have that many films, and this is one of his best for sure, right alongside Dogfight, My Own Private Idaho, Stand By Me. That's another reason why I love Blu-rays and 4Ks that are coming from the 80s and 90s, you know, they're always shot on film so you're gonna get a better looking piece of movie you're gonna get a better looking experience from something made in the past per se something these days shot on digital 2k digital 4k it's just not competing on that same 8k level so watching these movies it's like a time machine Your set pieces props cars costumes everything is just so clear and it is the best way to watch a movie you know it's the best way to escape it's really a beautiful film that holds up remarkably well another great example of great nuanced direction um, kind of harkening back to my the man in the moon blu-ray review great nuance and that's what i'm looking for with film is is nuance if you have not subscribed already, please do. I love doing these Blu-ray reviews, especially for underrated films like this one. Not a lot of people know about it, and it deserves more attention. 
sincerely. All right, everybody, please stay safe out there. Have fun, of course, and be good to yourself. Be kind to yourself. You deserve it. I'm Sam, and I'll talk to you soon.